that client and how they affect call routing. As we went on over before, this top left button is how I can change my call state from the connect client to available in a meeting, out of office, do not disturb, vacation, or custom mode of my choice. But how do we set those? And that's what I'm going to go over today. The top left, we select the short tail button, we hit settings, brings us to our settings, and we go down to call routing. This is where we can set the entire call path of our calls. You'll notice here we have a standard way we set things for available and out of office, unless told otherwise in your database gathering process. But short tail now has this cool start wizard where we, it'll actually have a wizard to help us set this. So let's say I want to change the way calls are handled when I'm in a meeting. I can hit start wizard. I select when in a meeting. And remember, let's follow from top down. When in a meeting, start wizard. So simultaneous ring. Do I want a simultaneous ring? If I don't, then I just use on an incoming call ring just my extension. That's fine. It's already set. But let's say I wanted, when I'm in a meeting, I wanted to ring other phones. Maybe I wanted to ring my cell phone because I want to at least get that call on my cell phone and see whether or not I want to answer it and step out of the meeting. Well, this is where I can check that option, and I can select these other call, other phones that I've selected earlier, I've created earlier, or I can add new ones. So I can select the desk phone there and use the selected number there. So now when a call comes in and I'm in a meeting, it'll simultaneously ring my desk phone and this other phone that I've created. I'm going to already get rid of that so my phone doesn't ring. This phone rings. Okay, next. Incoming call forwarding. If I'm not picking up an incoming call, what I want it to do? Keep ringing the number above. Forward calls to my voicemail. Right now we have a set to when in a meeting mode, always forward calls to my voicemail. So it will not ring anywhere. It's going to go straight to voicemail. Maybe I don't want that to happen. Then I want to forward calls to my voicemail. And I want to ring three times before that. Maybe I want to always forward to a receptionist. Let's call it demo conference room. When I'm in a meeting, I want it to always forward to this number. So it never goes to voicemail, it goes straight to this number. Because when I'm in a meeting, I'm in this room. This is all up to you. I'm going to go ahead and say voicemail though. Next. Find me, follow me. Find me is when the system, instead of going, once it hits your voicemail, it'll actually try to find you with other numbers you've programmed in. It's currently disabled, but let's say we want to enable find me settings. I can select when, again, I'm in a meeting, find me. I can enable, use find me settings to continue writing the call. I can say ring my find me number sequentially before playing my voicemail. Or I can play my voicemail first and tell the caller, if you'd like to find me, press one to reach me on my cell. And I'll say prompt the caller to record their name. I can tell them you must record your name before it tries to find me, or I can unable that. The bottom here, I've got my find me numbers that will be used sequentially. This is where I can put a cell phone, a home phone. So that when someone hits my voicemail in my office, it's going to start trying to find me wherever I'm at. I'm going to disable that on this extension. Next. And last but not least, this is where I record my voicemail greeting for this particular mode. I always do this with all of my modes. So if someone calls me when I'm in a meeting, it hits my voicemail, it'll play, thank you for calling. I am currently in a meeting right now, so please leave me a message and I'll be out. I'll give you a call as soon as I'm out, or something to that effect. So that the callers know he's just not out of the office today, he just not ignore my calls, he's currently in a meeting, so let me call back in an hour or so. Again, hit the record button, It'll pick up on my phone here at my desk. I can record my greeting, stop the recording, and I can save it. Last but not least, are callers allowed to leave a voicemail after hearing your greeting? So you could have created a greeting and it just said, I'm currently out of the office today, so please call Angela. Thank you. And then it hangs up on them. You don't have to let them leave a voicemail, and this is where you choose to do that. Alternatively, you can say, please press zero to be transferred to Angela. So after the, you can check this so it doesn't leave a voicemail. And you can say if the caller presses zero or listen to the greeting, transfer to Angela. Let's say Lily for these purposes. So now a caller calls in on how I've set it up. Well, I guess we'll go that here a bit. So now when I'm in a meeting mode, incoming calls are routed to my desk phone. No other phones will ring. Incoming calls are immediately routed to my voicemail. So someone calls me when I'm in a meeting, it's going to go straight to my voicemail. 
If I had recorded my greeting, I would have said, thank you for calling, I'm currently in a meeting. Please press zero to be transferred to my receptionist. And that would be Lily. So callers are not allowed to leave a voicemail. They hit zero and it'll forward to 7664, which for our, uh, for our purposes is the receptionist. She can then answer the call and take the message for me for when I get out of the meeting. Again, I can do that with every single one of these availability modes. I can even do that for my custom mode. And when I select these different modes, people see me in that mode on their, uh, on their client. So if I exit out here and I put Lily Lira into an immediate mode, like so, I'll notice that Lily Lira is in a meeting. So everyone sees that I'm in a meeting mode. And that is how you set up the different states and modes here in the Short Talk Connect client. Thank you.